Morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Is it going on again? It's going. We're, we're filming. Right, do this. Yeah, so uh, you're here for your post-op appointment, is that correct? You're what now? You're here for your follow-up appointment after your surgery, is that right? Yeah. Everything is going well? Everything went perfect. Perfect. Uh, well, before, just so we can take our masks, are you vaccinated? Yes. Perfect. I am too. Do you mind if we take our masks off? So we we, we, we've had two shots and I'm getting ready to have the booster shot, but I've got to wait for six months, eight months, whatever. And yeah. then we're going to go with the other you, one. Are you okay if we take our masks off so we can be more clear for the video? Heck yeah. Perfect. All I right. don't like these things anyway. I feel like I'm robbing a bank. Good. All right. <laughs> so uh, we first met a few months ago yeah. in September because you came in for a an inguinal hernia that was causing some discomfort, right? Yes, sir. And then... Um, you had your surgery two weeks ago, so that's about three months after we first met. December 2nd. Yep, and the, and the reason why we didn't do your surgery immediately, uh, right when you first saw me in September, is because you were a smoker, is that correct? Yes, well I was smoking and then I quit. you told me I had to be nicotine free and I couldn't beat the dang, the, can't cuss, right? The dang cigarette, yeah. so I started using the patch, Okay. and you go, no, that's not going to work. Right. You've got to be nicotine free. Yep. So, so you, you, I have been nicotine free for uh, uh, about three and a half months now, and I'm not going back. Right after we thanks met, to you. Right after we met, um, I had explained to you that for your type of hernia, which is in the groin, yep, we always use a piece of plastic mesh for the repair. Yes, sir. And the reason why we use that piece of plastic is to uh, because there's a lot of stress in the groin area every time you move sit down, stand, twist and turn. Yes. There's a lot of shearing forces in that area. Yeah. So the mesh minimizes the risk of that hernia coming back due to all those forces and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and uh, nicotine, like we talked about, uh, any form of nicotine, whether it be cigarettes, the patch, nicotine gum, etc., yeah, has nicotine in it. And nicotine is the number one risk factor of getting the mesh infected. Remember we talked about that? Yes, sir. Sure. And having an infected mesh for your type of, for the hernia repair is an extremely difficult problem to deal with because it's a piece of plastic, right? We mentioned that. Right. And giving you antibiotics by mouth or IV is not going to do much good because there's no blood supply that, that goes to the infected area. So yeah. treatment for an infected mesh, which is one of the most significant uh, complications from the surgery, is that we'd have to most likely do a second surgery to remove the infected mesh leave the wound open so you have a big gaping hole where your incision is because we don't we can't close the skin back on top of the infected area because i'll chop all the bacteria in there right you're getting a much bigger infection so we leave it open and you have to pack it with gauze until it until it heals over the next several months okay. and then you're likely left with another hernia because we removed the mesh <laughs> so you need another operation to fix that so it's a big deal and that stuck in your head for you know you scared me yeah good and I don't get scared easy. Perfect. So <laughs> I, I worked in the woods and fell trees for a living for a while, helicopter log. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but I thought. But you were smoking for two oh, packs a day? 53 years. Two packs a day? Yes, sir. And how difficult was this to kick? Uh, it, it, it honestly is still difficult. But um, I've been married for 48 years as of January 9th. And my wife, she's so proud of me. So, um, how do you feel now that you don't smoke? Like I feel better. In what way? Uh, mentally, physically, I feel like I'm getting stronger every day. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, I owe it all to you. Well, she tried for years to get me to quit smoking. Good. And, and you know, I, I I wouldn't smoke in the house if the, if my kids were up. Uh, or if my wife was up, but after they went to bed, then I would smoke. Well, that smoke lingers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. plus, yeah. you had told me that you were coughing every single morning, right? Which is how yes, you think sir. I was coughing every right. single for a couple hours, and every, maybe every morning, right? Yeah, but not no more. Good. And yeah. and how and how would that affect your hernia when you're smoking and coughing? Um. Well, I mean, I. Uh, I don't, I don't know if, if, if it is what caused my hernia, but after talking to you, I asked you, remember? Mm -hmm. Could this hernia be caused by me, you know, coughing every single morning for a couple hours? And you told me yes. Yeah. No doubt about Just it. Just stress, wear, and tear on the area. Yep. So. And remember, I already had one done when I was 17 over here. I don't know if the same hole opened up, but, yeah. but you're the man, dude. I mean, 
I would have never quit without you. Well, you did all the work. I just had to, I just had to tell you. All I cared about. Thank you. Yeah, all I cared about was the my my repair being good. Yeah. But but uh, you did all the work with quitting because I know it's extremely difficult. It, it was hard. Extremely difficult for taking a, a significant long term habit. Yeah. Um, but you did the patch. Yeah. Right for for like a week or so. Yeah. And yeah. And well, it, about. I mean, I could, I tried to quit. Because I've been smoking for so long, I tried to quit, and then I, I kept going back out in the garage and smoking another cigarette. Yeah. So then Trevor, she says, let's call Dr. Shabir and see if he can't get you a patch. And I go, hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. So I got the patch, quit for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Called you, said, hey, I quit for a couple of weeks. How'd you quit, you asked me. Yeah. So then I said, well, I went on the patch. You go, no, I told you, you got to be nicotine free. Yeah. So I was like, no, I, I won't cuss right now. Yeah. That's like dang it. Yeah. So anyway, well, yeah. But we had mentioned that the patch, even though it has nicotine in it, it doesn't start. So we had talked about I, the I, ideal situations that you were off of all forms of nicotine for one month before the surgery and one yes. month after the surgery because it takes a yes, long sir. time for it to clear out of your system. Um, but the patch has nicotine in it, which helps you get off the cigarettes. Yes, so sir. that is a accept that is an accept unaccept that is a <laughs> acceptable way of getting off the cigarettes because it helps transition you off. But the clock doesn't start for until the nicotine is completely gone, which is you know part right. of the patch. Right, right, so right. the patch helped you get off the cigarettes, and then what something something triggered in your head, right? That just said, "Screw it, I'm just done with everything," and then you you pretty much. Uh, you pretty much just told yourself that you're I have to give you all the credit. Well, all I, I, I really can't. You know, yeah. me, me and my wife, we've been together since the seventh grade in school. Uh, she's been, we've been married for 48 years. I've been spoken for 53. Yeah. Um, she's been trying for years to get me to quit. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Well, you just need to come to, talk to me so I can tell you to stop doing it. And then you're, again, you're the one who did all the hard work and, and actually made the commitment. So. Yeah. So, I mean, you you know, you were on the level with me. Yeah. I respect you as a person. Yeah. Sometimes people don't don't take my advice as well as you do. Sometimes people call me a jerk and leave out and, and leave. and. I wasn't happy with you. <laughs> <laughs> Before. <laughs> Right. Hopefully you know, I, I actually, I, I don't know if I told you, but I called Dr. Shabir uh -huh. and I uh, talked to John, his assistant, and I said, find me another doctor. I'm not going yeah. back to this guy. <laughs> and they said, why? And I said, because, and I went into the whole thing. He goes, Mom, they're all going to tell you the same thing. Yeah, that's not true, though. You, what are we talking about? You can, find the, you can find the surgeon that'll do what's in their best interest, but not what's in your best interest, right? Because I don't, I, don't, I don't make money by telling you to come back after you quit smoking and hope that you come back to me. Because, right. uh, you know, other surgeons will say, right. we're not going to give you this uh, this warning. We're going to do your surgery so I can get paid and whatever happens to you, what happens to you. That's yeah. very, very common. So I'm glad that you were yep. able to. Yeah, uh, I, I took everything that you said to heart and I have to give you all the credit, to be honest with you. Well, um, is there any way I can get a copy of this? Yeah, it's going to be on, on YouTube. We'll okay, you okay. But, uh, one. Now my son's smoking. <laughs> He's 41, so I can't tell him what to do, but he lives in my house. Okay. But still, I, I don't want him in the same spot that I'm that I was in. Sure. But but this, this how how do you feel now after this after quitting the smoking year? Oh, you're I, 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 I feel like a hundred percent better. Just mentally, physically, like, I've got my taste back. You're able to do more activities, right? You're golfing and stuff like that. But no. You haven't gave me the. Can uh, I go? Can I go play golf? Well, yeah. So two more weeks of since your surgery was only two more weeks. Yeah. No lifting over nothing over ten. Nothing that uses your core. Then I can go play again. Slowly go back to your. Okay. Don't don't yeah. just start cranking out five hundred yarders, you know, right away. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay. Really though, if you ever want to go play, call me. Well, I've been a marshal out there for I don't know, five, six, seven years, whatever. Good. So whoever I take. They don't pay nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, it's just we'll we'll do it. We'll okay. Do it. Let's Thank you very it. much. I'm very happy how everything went. Yep. Good job with the smoking. Again, the, the the repair went really well. So just take it easy. Even though you don't have any pain, you're still healing for two more weeks. So just take it easy. Thank you for saving my life. Uh, that's kind of far reaching, but I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Good to see you. Take care. All right. All right.